Hello, and welcome to Attunity RepliWeb Support Masters. I'm Andy Lupton, Director of Product Marketing for Attunity's RepliWeb Division, and the purpose of these videos is to help you get the most out of your products by providing feature overviews, job settings, performance tweaks, and more. In this session, Eric Zissen guides you through all of the options available for setting up a job to replicate files from a source server to multiple target systems. When you have a need to distribute files simultaneously to multiple endpoints, Attunity RepliWeb can quickly and efficiently perform this function for you. Hello, my name is Eric Zissen and I am a Senior Solutions Architect at Attunity RepliWeb Division. The topic of today's video is how to create a distribution job within Attunity RepliWeb. You will log into the GUI console passing a set of credentials. And you'll be presented with the first screen. The first screen will give you the option to create an upload job, a distribution job, or a download job. For me, I will be creating an upload job for a website I call site2.com. I will browse locally on my center server for where the files are located, and in my case it's under inetpub, www.root, site2.com. I'll be maintaining that folder structure to my two target servers. And I will then enter the two target servers, which I will be replicating the site one content to. The last piece missing from this equation is a set of credentials used for the scope of the replication. These credentials need to have the necessary rights to accomplish the task at hand. I've created a service account. Now this is the very most basic job that you'll be using to create a distribution job. I've specified a source directory, a target directory on two servers, and a set of credentials for use to authenticate against these two servers. If I were to hit submit right now, this would take all the default properties and scheduling options within the application. I'm going to talk to you briefly about a few of the properties. The first property that you might want to consider is which synchronization logic. I'll be using mirror logic. I also have the ability to do any include or exclude file specifications if I want to include a certain subfolder or if I want to exclude certain file types either globally or non-recursively. Additionally, I have the ability to configure which transfer engine I'm going to use. The LAN transfer engine has been specifically engineered for high availability, high throughput network connections and its goal is to move the files through as quickly as possible. If you need more granularity, we have the WAN transfer engine. This gives you additional functionality such as bandwidth limitations, compression, differential transfer, and SSL encryption. Lastly, our third transfer protocol is called the Large File Accelerator, and this is used on files greater than one gigabyte. Not only can we send multiple parallel transfers, but we can do compression, differential, SSL, checksum analysis, and take these very large digital assets and split them up into multiple parallel transfer streams themselves to utilize as much bandwidth as necessary to make this a very fast and efficient process. This job can be scheduled to be run once and run now, or run once at a specific time and day. This job can be set to a reoccurring schedule, for example, run every two hours, or run daily at specific times or multiple times, or to run weekly at specific times and dates. Or, if you have the need to integrate this with a third-party process, you can have this run on the existence of a trigger file. Perhaps it's a change control mechanism that when the change control process goes from pending to approved, it can touch a trigger file that which we'll be looking for. Once we see the trigger file, we'll delete the trigger file and then go ahead and launch this job, integrating it with a third-party process. Lastly, we have the ability to run on demand. This is where the Repl Web Administrator can create a job and assign it to domain user or a domain user group who will then have access to log in through the web user interface, see the jobs that have been assigned specifically to him or her based upon either inclusion on the users list or the groups list and be able to hit the job and submit the job based upon uh, uh, your ability to delegate the responsibilities. Now you'll see that I have a scheduled job called Site2 Push to Prod. If you need further information about some of the additional functionalities, please see the following videos. 
And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send an email to support at reploweb.com. Thank you very much and have a great day. We trust that you found this session helpful and we encourage you to review all of the other Support Master videos to help you get the most out of your Attunity ReploWeb products. For future reference, please bookmark attunity.com slash supportmasters and check back often for more episodes. If you would like to see a Support Master video regarding a specific use case, please feel free to send your request to reploweb at attunity.com. If you have additional questions or need assistance with any of your data transfer challenges, please contact us or visit us on the web at attunity.com.